We got the SSR 125 that we purchased recently. Um, as you can see, we're on the right side of the engine, removing the clutch cover. Um, the symptom I'm having right now is I don't have any disengaging of the clutch. Clutch doesn't slip or anything, I just can't disengage it. So when I pull the handle in, I got nothing. I have movement here, tried adjusting on this adjuster, um, can't get it to work. So I'm guessing the clutch pack is sticky and the discs aren't separating and allowing it to freewheel with the clutch handle in. So we're gonna attempt to take this cover off. Basically you gotta unhook your clutch cable. We'll unhook it fine, the final unhooking when we get this back. Dipstick can stay in, Kickstarter has to come off. And I believe we can clear, we might have to just take this brake lever off just to be safe, yeah. pull the spring, just to get it out of our way, guys. Yep. And then you're gonna take, so the cover's gonna have to come straight out. We're gonna hope and pray that we don't ruin the gasket. I actually have a gasket, though. I have one. extra one, yep. I have a gasket. So always make sure if you're gonna do one of these clutch jobs, order the gasket ahead of time. So just in case you ruin it, which is There's very highly, yeah. it's likely. Yeah. So to get this, uh, the brake off, you Take unhook, the cotter pin. Unhook the spring, cotter pin. Slide the thing out. And just slide, that, the, yeah. slide it off. So, so if you ever want to adjust your rear brake, this bolt right here does that trick. Yep. If you want it up or down. So. And spring gonna... pullers are ideal. But if you're tough guys like us, you don't use a spring puller. I might be a tough guy. <laughs> We might get the vice grip here. Yeah. I want to get up in here like this and just pry it up and off, but I can't seem to do that. All right, vice grip it is. Yep. We'll venture over. Also, to take the brake caliper, it's pin, a pin and, and, a cotter and a washer. And, ob and a washer, and obviously it goes in like this. Go on the top. As far as our man with the pliers was in dummy. Neil those might have been the move, but. Watch this guy muster his <laughs> shit. Hitting. And there it is. There she should and then you can just there. slide that whole thing off. Like that. Just to get that out of your way. Then you'll be able to clear. It looks like there's like a guard right here, the stopper. That'll come off when you when you take that off. Yeah. So we're gonna begin to take all the eight millimeter bolts out. Like I said, I do have a gasket here in case we find something that's fixable. And we'll uh, definitely send. Initiate time lapse now. out of the cover. There's a few longer ones, which is very obvious where they go. Um, just be careful when you take them out. Make sure if you want to label them, you can. Um, but you make sure you, be, uh, you have the seal over here on the Kickstarter. Just kind of wiggle that all off. And Oh my. We did rip the gasket here, so may end up replacing it. So it did rip just a slight bit. See that. You can see all this stuff here. We'll end up taking that off. So that probably didn't help anything. It was just straight gas. So we'll need a Phillips screwdriver to take this cover off. And that spring, and this here comes out. The bearing's still good yet. That oil was horrible, just horrible. Yeah, Taft. Oh, oh, I don't just take that bearing out. All right, here, hang on. Let's get this all. There's an insert. Yeah, let's grab the bearing. Gas. 
Yeah, it's terrible for the clutch. Mm -hmm. And that bearing. The bearing's fine. It's just... All right. Always might need Hulk over here. Hey, Spark, how strong is your wrist? Alrighty, guys. So we're doing the clutch job on the 125 SSR. Basically, what happened was the plates inside the clutch were all stuck and rusted together, so it would never disengage the clutch. And for some reason, there was gas inside the engine oil area. I don't know how it got there. Um, it would be really rare if the gas could leak out the carb into the intake because there's overflow on the bottom of the carb. But what we had to do is take the pack apart. Got to have a special socket, which is right here. <clears throat> a special socket for that. You can order these on eBay. I'll try to find a link and put it in the description. So in case to get this special nut out, there's a beveled concave washer that goes on only one way. And then this, you bend over to lock the, the nut in place. And if you're taking that thing apart, there's a snap ring on the inner, inner side of it. And you're going to want to line up all the discs on the center plate inside. It's a, a, a metal, uh, sprocket like thing that hooks onto the crankshaft make sure you make sure make sure the plates are all the teeth all line up in there so if you put it together and you don't line it up you're not gonna have to take it all back apart again because it's never going to line up correctly on the crank and the clutch basket itself so i would have had some videos of us disassembling and everything but we had like three of us working on it and, and the gopro is at like 10 percent so. yeah so this is the best i can do is give you an explanation while it's still apart um, what we're going to do next is put the cover on with the gasket. I put some blue Loctite on the Phillips screws. That's this cover here. And there's an insert, a bearing, and a little spring and a push, push pin that actually is what disengages the clutch. So we're going to put that on next and hopefully get her back. Alrighty, guys, it's the next day after working on the 125 clutch. Uh, you can see it's all back together besides the cover on. Um, I thought I had a gasket here, but it was actually a center case gasket. Um, for the engine, so I don't have one. So I'm gonna have to order one of those and uh, we'll get that put on. So with those sticky clutch plates, it wasn't dis disengaging and, and my clutch felt harder to pull too, so that's also a red flag. Um, but like I said, we disassembled the entire clutch pack, took the steel plates and cleaned all the rust off of them and got them nice and flat again and, and non-ridged, I guess you'd say. Put this all together. Um, the way this outside goes, is the bearing then there's a little uh metal piece it has a an outside edge and then it sticks inward the inward part goes in then there's a spring and then you have this which the spring sits against on the inside if you put it on the other way uh, the spring won't sit inside of it so it only goes on one way so fairly simple uh, you gotta it's a little tricky to get this whole assembly on the crank there's a gear in the back that has a fit over the crankshaft and inside the clutch assembly itself. And when you're putting this back together, you always want to put some grease on the seal lip for this kicker shaft, just so the seal doesn't get torn or damaged. Just kind of saves the lip of the seal while you're putting it on. Um, but yeah, we cleaned up the gasket surface on both the cover and the engine. So it's basically just ready for a new gasket. And then we got to put the brake lever back on and all that stuff. But hopefully, if you ever have this issue, guys, if it sat for a while, for some reason there was gas in the oil here. I don't know how it happened, but yeah, that's definitely not good. The clutch plates were all stuck together, and we put it all back together, and it should should work. I'm thinking the clutch wasn't burnt out because it didn't slip at all. So we shall see when we get some oil on it. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll finish up with a part two after we get that gasket and then we'll try it out and, and see how it goes and adjust the clutch and everything like that. But until then, this is going to be the first part of the video. We'll see you guys in the next video.